My name is Durkarn Jodri, and I'm a master's graduate in the class of 2021. It is an honor and a privilege to be opening the 2021 graduation and award ceremony for the Department of Physics and Atmospheric Science. All of us being recognized here today represent the most persevering class of physics to date. We started and ended this year during the pandemic. Our homes became our classrooms, our lecture halls, our labs, our supervisor's offices, our committee meetings, and our defenses. We shuffled between our work screens and our non-work screens, navigated the ever-changing restrictions, and lost such a large community, which makes higher level education so important. For all of us to still be here, despite all of that, deserves recognition, and that's what we're doing today. For all of the undergraduate students who finished another year of weekly assignments, CAPA, midterms, and exams, I can't imagine getting through a semester of undergrad without being able to sit with my classmates and collaboratively work through parts D to H of that one assignment question that makes no sense. To everyone who finished a summer research project in 2020, adapting to that summer while the university was still determining a return to research plan was so challenging. Yet you were able to complete important research in just four months. And those skills you developed in terms of adaptability and resilience are going to be with you for a long time. To the graduating undergrads who had to determine what their next steps would be without being able to visit possible employer sites or graduate schools, and who completed an honors thesis project without the support that's normally available in the lab, that is unbelievably impressive. I wish you all the best for whatever is next along your path. And to my fellow graduate students who had committee meetings and defenses in their living rooms, you did it. You did a full body of research, you wrote a thesis, and you got through all of those questions at your defense. Congratulations. This class here is impressive, resilient, and determined and I'm honored to share this virtual stage with you all. Now, I'd like to invite Dr. Jeff Don to the screen to kick off the award ceremony with the first year student awards. Uh, welcome everyone to the physics virtual award ceremony for the 2020-2021 academic year. My name is Jeff Don. I'm one of the instructors for the physics 1190 class along with Dr. Devet. Uh, we had a good time teaching this class online with its uh, particular challenges. Anyway, for physics 1190-1290, we have the Burgess McKittrick Awards for the top ac academic standing physics 1190, physics 1290. It's a very large class with about 450 students. To come out on top is a real achievement. This year, the awards go to Harris Georgiakopoulos Tolis and John Georgiakopoulos Tolis. So I'm not sure if these are brothers or cousins, but clearly they excelled in the class. So congratulations to you both. Hello, my name is Harris Georgiakopoulos Tolis and I have just finished my first year in Dalhousie. I feel very honored to have received the Burgess McKittrick Award and the Burgess McKittrick Summer Studentship Award. I want to thank my family, my friends, and my girlfriend for inspiring me to do well on my courses, while furthermore, I would like to thank Dalhousie and my professors for making my first year a very educational and memorable experience, while also recognizing my efforts. It's a great honor to be receiving the Burgess McKittrick Award, but it was an even greater honor participating in Physics 1190 and 1290. I'd like to thank all teaching assistants, professors, and any other faculty members responsible for making Physics 1190 and 1290 possible this year. I'd like to give a special thanks to the three main professors with whom I interacted with, Dr. Jeff Dunn, Dr. Simon DeVette, and Dr. Thomas Dack. Next, we have the Burgess McKittrick Awards for the top, top academic standing, Physics 1310, 1320, these classes were taught by Professor Moncheski and Professor Bardui, respectively. This again is a very large class of three or four hundred students. And the, the winners of the award are Jonathan Choi and Alex Raven. Thank you very much. You did a great job. I would like to thank the entire physics department for awarding me the Burgess McKittrick Award. And notably, I would like to thank Dr. Moncheski, Dr. Bardwell, Dr. Payne, and the teaching assistants for doing an exceptional job 
of teaching the course contents and supporting the students learning for the past two online semesters. Thank you. The next, next awards we have are the Burgess McKittrick Summer Studentship Awards. So this is an award that supports a four month work term where students have, who have completed first year physics with a high ac academic standing who intend to enter the honors program. And this year, the awards go to two students in Physics 1190-1290, who are Harris Georgiakopoulos Tolis and John Georgiakopoulos Tolis. And the other award winners are Deidre Spearns and Noah Wynn. Congratulations to the four of you. And I hope you enjoy your summer work term. The final first year award is the JG McGregor Award, and this award goes to undergraduate students achieving a high A plus standing in either Physics 1190-1290 or Physics 1310-1320, who intend to enter the honors program in physics. And this year, the awards go to Deirdre Spearns and Noah Wynn. Congratulations. So I must say, you know, giving these awards virtually, it's not nearly as fun as it is in person for many reasons, but um, I congratulate all the award winners and I hope to meet you all in person in the fall of 2021. Hi, my name is Tim Bardwheel and I'm an assistant professor here in the Department of Physics and Atmospheric Science. Um, I'd like to congratulate all of the second year students on surviving a very challenging year of school. Um, you are all um, new to the experience of being focused on physics uh, for a whole academic year. Uh, it's a very challenging initi initiation to that process um, this year, but you've succeeded. So congratulations on that. And uh, I know that uh, we are looking forward to having a third year experience with you, which is much more in person and interactive. So I'd like to announce the awards um, for second year students. Um, so the A.S. McKenzie Award is an award that goes to the student with the top academic standing in physics and math in the first two years of a physics honors program. And that award goes to Xander Gauss. Congratulations, Xander. And now I'd like to introduce the uh, Burgess McKittrick Awards for second year students. Um, these awards um, go to students uh, first who are awarded um, to honors students achieving the highest standing in the core second year physics courses, um, which is a very challenging set of courses uh, and a very large step up from uh, first year. And um, so we have two awardees for the Burgess McKittrick Award this year, and that award goes to Lily Daw and to Yinyo Liu. So congratulations, Lily and Yinyo. I'd just like to comment to say that um, Lily and Yinyo both were in my experimental physics course, um, which is a lab-based course. And this year took a very um, challenging turn where students turned their home into their experimental lab. Um, and so they did experiments at home um, using data acquisition equipment um, and, uh, and various developing their own experiments and running them in their own home or in the environment around them. And uh, Lily and Yinyo really excelled in this um, challenging uh, environment. So congratulations to both of you. Hi, I'm very happy to get this award this year and I will keep working hard and make more progress in the future. Thank you. The next award is the Burgess McKittrick Award for a female student with first class standing entering the second year level of the honors program in physics. And this award goes to Yi Wang. So congratulations, Yi. Hello, everyone. I have to thank physics department to present me this award. The last year is quite tough year for everyone. I deeply appreciate all the support and help from professors, TAs, and all other second-year peer students. Sometimes we work together and support each other on Discord, 
I think that's really, really helpful. Thanks again, and I wish everyone have a great summer. The Burgess McKittrick Summer Studentship Award is an award that provides students with the opportunity to work in a research lab for the summer, um, which is a great learning experience and really allows students to now become and start to act as physicists working in a lab and it's a really, really rewarding experience for many students. So this four month work term is for students who have completed the second year of the physics um, with a high academic standing and who are entering the honors program. And we're awarding two student summer studentships this year. Uh, and those are going to Lily Daw and to Xander Gauss. So congratulations, Lily and Xander. Well done. Finally, I'd like to announce the winner for the Archibald Award. The Archibald Award goes to the most promising student in the second year honors program in physics with a first class standing. And this award is going this year to Valker Yildrim. So congratulations, Valker. And congratulations again to all the students who uh, worked so hard this year in very challenging circumstances um, to begin their physics journey uh, with us in the department. And again, I look forward to seeing you all in the Dunn Building in September. Hello, I'm Professor Tom Duck, and I'm pleased to present the Third Year Physics Awards. Our third year program includes challenging courses in experimental physics, computational physics, thermal physics, and quantum mechanics. A number of students distinguished themselves in what was a strong class this year. I'm delighted to recognize these students with awards from the department. There are two A.S. McKenzie Awards for third year students. A little history. Arthur Stanley McKenzie began as an undergraduate at Dell in math and physics. He became the George Monroe Professor of Physics at Dell in 1905 and became Dalhousie's first non-clergy president in 1911, serving until 1931. In that time, he increased enrollment, brought the University of King's College to Halifax, and built the school's first female dormitory. These awards are in his honor. The first A.S. McKenzie Award is presented to the student with the best academic average in all courses in third year core physics classes. There are two winners this year, Allison Clark and John Corston. Congratulations, Allison and John. Hi, I'm John Corston. I just want to say a big thank you to the physics department, not only for these awards, but for making this year fantastic despite the online format. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone in the fall. The second of our A.S. McKenzie Awards is for the student with the highest overall GPA in the third year of the Honours Program in Physics. The award winner this year is James Monday. Congratulations, James. I will now present Burgess McKittrick Awards for the top female students in the third year of our Honours Physics Program. Burgess McKittrick graduated from Dell in 1877 and was awarded the Governor General's Medal in recognition of his high standing as a student. He was later principal of Lunenburg Academy for 27 years and was later Lunenburg's Justice of the Peace. The awards in his name were established in 1949 by his brother Frederick, who graduated from Dell in 1894 with honors in mathematics and mathematical physics. I am delighted to present this year's Burgess McKittrick Awards to Alison Clark and Erica Kember. Congratulations, Alison and Erica. Hi everyone, my name is Erica Kember. I just want to say thank you so much for the awards. It's such an honor. And I also want to say thank you to all my teachers in the physics department for giving me the best experience that I could have this semester. I look forward to seeing everyone in the fall. Thank you so much. Finally, I am pleased to present the Daryl Montgomery Memorial Award to a student in the experimental laboratory who has shown a love of experimentation, qualities of leadership, and participation in student activities in physics. Professor Labrie, who teaches the third year experimental courses, asked me to read the following tributes. Uh, let me summarize. This year's recipient is very keen about experimental physics and physics in general. We had countless discussions, that's Professor Labrie and the student, about physics ranging from the latest imagery of black holes to how to suspend part of a setup using dental floss. 
His enthusiasm and love of experimental physics was highly contagious to his classmates and instructor alike. This year's award winner is John Corston. Congratulations, John. Hi, my name is Ian Hill. I'm a professor of physics and the chair of the Department of Physics and Atmospheric Science. Thank you for joining us today to help celebrate the success of our students. In addition to being department chair, I'm also the coordinator of the fourth year honors projects, which is a capstone course where honors students have the opportunity to demonstrate their skills and knowledge as scientific researchers. It has been my pleasure to see the achievements that our students have realized producing top-notch research in a distance learning environment. I am pleased to present the awards to our fourth year class. I would like to begin with the A.S. McKenzie Awards. The first of the A.S. McKenzie Awards is awarded to the top graduating student in the Honors Physics program who is receiving the University Medal in Physics. This year is my pleasure to present the A.S. McKenzie Award to Brett McNeil. Congratulations, Brett. The second A.S. McKenzie Award is awarded to the highest standing first class honors student who is not receiving the medal in physics. And this year, we actually have a tie and we are awarding this to two students. Congratulations to Luke Fraser Leach and Nick Milson. Congratulations, guys. Hi, everyone. I just want to congratulate everyone who's graduating. It's too bad we didn't get to all spend five hours a day, every day in the done, working on problem sets together, but uh, best of luck in your future endeavors and congratulations. Next, we have the Burgess McKittrick Award. The Burgess McKittrick Award is awarded to a female student with the highest first class standing upon entering the fourth year level of our honors physics program. And this year, it is my pleasure to award the Burgess McKittrick Award to Rebecca Tobin. Congratulations, Rebecca. Our next award, and the final award specifically for the fourth year class, is the E.W. Guptill Memorial Award, named for Ernie Guptill, a past member of our department. The E.W. Guptill Memorial Award is awarded to an undergraduate student who best exemplifies the qualities of Dr. E.W. Guptill in showing initiative, experimental skill, leadership, and enthusiasm for physics. This year, it is my pleasure to award the E.W. Guptill Memorial Award to Brett McNeil. Congratulations again, Brett. I am Daniel Labrie, uh, Associate Professor of Physics and Course Instructor for the Third Year Experimental Physics and Electronics. The St. Bob Memorial Awards were introduced shortly after the passing of Professor Masayoshi Senba to commemorate his many accomplishments, in particular his uh, exemplary teaching done in our department, and with respect to his very strong commitment toward his students. I still remember after a departmental award ceremonies where his students were beaming with joy, being photographed with his, with their favorite teacher. Definitely, he was a shooting star in their lives. Hello everyone, my name is Kazuya Samba. I would like to thank uh, Dr. Hill and the department for inviting me to give uh, these presentations. I would like also to thank uh, the sel selecting committee for coming up with this wonderful uh, students as winners. So these uh, awards are in memory of Masayoshi Samba, my husband, who taught uh, various courses, including um, quantum mechanics and electromagnetism until 2006. He also did theoretical research involving uh, spin exchange in solid state physics and also atomic physics and so on. So the first award is a theoretical physics award. This is given to an undergraduate student attending courses that would have been uh, typically taught by uh, Masayoshi Senba, who in the opinion of faculty members uh, possesses outstanding skills, interest, promise, and determination in theoretical physics. This year, this award goes to James Monday. 
Congratulations, James. This is wonderful. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'd like to thank the department for presenting me with these awards this year. It really means a lot to me. Uh, and I'd especially like to thank all of the professors this year for, for tackling this challenge of online teaching. And I'd also like to thank all of my classmates this year for helping me make it through. Uh, it's been an interesting year, but I'm, I'm looking forward to next year. Thanks. The second award is Most Improved Student Award. Masayoshi took a great pleasure in seeing a student uh, improve in their studies. Any faculty member would um, be happy to see this, of course, but he um, took great pleasure in this and he always kept uh, his office door open so that uh, students could uh, drop in to ask questions and so on. So this is a, a reflection of his teaching philosophy. So this award is given to a student in physics, uh, major or honors, in his or her third or fourth year, who compared to the previous academic year, exhibits the greatest improvement in his or her studies. And this year, it goes to Erika Kemper. Congratulations, Erika. Actually, you won the same award last year, so you have been really making great, great progress. And that's really wonderful. Congratulations, Erica. So um, this completes uh, my presentations. Um, and I, again, would like to thank the department for inviting me. And uh, again, congratulations, uh, James and Erica. I, I'll be sending uh, uh, you a little uh, card. And also, I'd like to attach a little write-up about my husband so you know what kind of person he was. So thank you again and congratulations. Hi, my name is Ian Falkins and I am the meteorology coordinator here at Dalhousie University. This year was a tough one for obvious reasons, but fortunately, all three DMAC graduates this year did a really good job of learning the material under adverse conditions. These graduates are Jesse Cluett, Jordan Ford, and Robert Glow. They were forced to work much more independently than in a normal year, and I congratulate all three of them. The DMAT prize is based on the average GPA of the DMAT classes. All three graduates this year were pretty close and it was impossible to pick a single winner. So we are forced to pick two winners, both with straight A's in their DMAT classes. These two winners are Jesse Cluett and Jordan Ford. Jesse Cluett is graduating with her DMED as part of a challenging four-year major in physics and a minor in earth science. She also has a co-op and a certificate in geographic information science. Obviously a rich and tough program. Jordan Ford comes to us from Memorial University where he did his undergraduate degree and I'd like to thank him for the especially good job he did this year of keeping me on track with lots of challenging questions and an interest in meteorology. Congratulations to you both and to all the DMAC graduates and good luck on your meteorological careers. Hello everybody, I am Dr. Simon DeVent and I'm here to present an award for teaching assistance. Teaching is a big job, it's one of the most important things we do at Dalhousie. And of course it's not something we can do alone. While the instructors and professors might be at the forefront, it is our huge team of graduate workers acting as teaching assistants who do so much of the work behind the scenes. These are people who do the grading, answer student questions, provide a great deal of assistance. The course could not exist without them. And this year, of course, things were a little different. With online teaching, our teaching assistants had to learn whole new jobs and whole new techniques. And they did so with even less recognition than usual. They didn't even get to see the students that they were helping. So it goes to show that the three teaching assistants who are receiving this year's award have done exceptional work. And the three teaching assistants we have this year are Joelle Dion, Ben Hansen, and Rebecca Cavanaugh. People who have done exceptional work were nominated by faculty and without whom these courses could not exist. So thank you so much for your contributions. We could not do it without you. We wish you the best of luck. Everybody did exceptional work. The three of you deserve extra recognition. So thank you so much. I wanted to thank everyone for this award, but I also wanted to leave a message for all of the students I have worked with. 
Congratulations on your achievements despite the pandemic. We have been here to help you, but everything that you have achieved is your own. Good luck next year. Hey everyone, I'm honored to be a recipient of the Teaching Assistant Award this year. I really liked TAing, I liked all the students that I worked with, and I'm glad that they thought I was okay too. Hi again. I'm back to announce the winner of the Resource Center Teaching Assistant Award. This award uh, recognizes the teaching assistant who is deemed to be the best overall teaching assistant in the Resource Center. Um, this award was initiated and is funded by Professor Jeff Don. And this year's winner is Yaroslav Perevkin. So congratulations, Yaroslav. Thank you very much for the Resource Center Teaching Assistant Award. I am pleased to be awarded and it was nice to see a bunch of students who are participating in almost every online session. And also I saw some activity on the forum, especially it was nice to see that there was one student who just answered questions of other students, that she was discussing something with other students. And hopefully things will get back to normal this fall. Hi everyone. Each year, the Undergraduate Physics Society recognizes one professor in the department with the Langstroth Memorial Award. This award gives students an opportunity to recognize a professor in the department who's gone above and beyond to assist students with their learning. It's my pleasure to announce that this year's Langstroth Memorial Award winner is Dr. Jesse Mawson. While I've not had a chance to take a course with Dr. Mawson yet, I'm looking forward to having the opportunity next year. Congratulations. Hi, everyone. Jesse here. I'd like to start by congratulating all students that have completed another year in physics, especially to those that are graduating or that have received an award today. Well done. I've also learned that I've been selected by the students for the Langworth uh, Memorial Award. I want to say thank you and that I'm honored to receive this award. It was really a pleasure for me to have played a role uh, in your training, either as a teacher or supervisor or a mentor, and help prepare you for the next leg in your journey. And to all the undergrads watching this that don't know me, I look forward to uh, seeing you in computational physics or quantum mechanics too when you take it in, uh, in the fall or in the winter. So congrats again to everybody and have a great summer. The J.H.L. Johnstone Memorial Community Engagement Prize is awarded to a student or a group of students who make exceptional effort and exhibit leadership qualities in engaging either the public, their colleagues, and or the scientific community with the goal of promoting physics and atmospheric science as an area of study, research, and or as a career path. This year's J.H.L. Johnstone Memorial Community Engagement Prize goes to Matthew Kuhn. Congratulations, Matt. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Cameron Rutterham. Uh, I'm a PhD student in Professor Moncheski's research group, and this year I have the honor of presenting the Leaper Awards on behalf of the department. Uh, these awards are given out to graduate students who, in the opinion of the faculty, possess a special ability uh, in physics. Uh, now, I'd like to think that we're all special in our own way, uh, but this year in particular, uh, there are three students uh, that really deserve these awards, uh, which I'll now present. Uh, our first winner is Hao Guo, uh, a graduate student in the medical physics department whose work uses optical techniques to advance disease detection, diagnosis, and prevention uh, for things like liver disease and cervical cancer. Uh, Hao stands out not just for his work ethic and ability in the lab, uh, but also for his excellent communication skills, which he's used to successfully apply for two different technology transition competitions, and has even managed to start his own company to help bring one of the devices designed as part of his research to market. Uh, so very impressive work there. Uh, our second winner is Courtney Henry, another medical physics student whose work focuses on the use of radioactive microspheres for disease treatment. Uh, now, the original goal of his project was to use X-ray imaging techniques to help doctors confirm that the injected spheres had reached their desired target in the body, uh, but he's managed to expand on this uh, a lot and develop a new technique that makes it possible to use these images not just to detect the spheres, uh, but also to accurately calculate the radiative dose that they provide. Uh, so this new technique uh, provides significantly better dosimetric information than conventional methods uh, and has already led to two published papers with two more on the way, uh, which lets you know that this is a big step forward for this kind of treatment. Um, and last, uh, and perhaps not surprisingly, uh, the last winner is another medical physicist, uh, Ben Hansen. 
Uh, now, Ben stands out not just for his excellent work in the lab, uh, both on his own research and as a supervisor for first-year students in the DISC program, uh, but also because he has managed to find the time to serve on every single extracurricular committee in existence. Uh, now, that sounds like a joke, uh, but Ben is currently the VP of the Dalhousie Graduate Physics Society, a member of the Dalhousie Senate, uh, co-chair of the APS Inclusion, Diversity, and Equity Alliance team, uh, and is the graduate student representative for the Canadian Association of Physicists, uh, just to name a few of his extracurricular pursuits. Uh, and now, by all accounts, Ben has done an excellent job with all of these positions, uh, so his leadership has been a huge asset, not just to the department, uh, but to the academic community at large. Uh, so in summary, uh, congratulations once again uh, to all of this year's awards winners, and I apologize if I butchered my descriptions of your research. Uh, your work this year has been very impressive, uh, and your creativity and dedication reflects very well on the rest of the department, uh, even if you make some of us look bad by comparison. Great work. My name is Hao Guo, and I am second year PhD student in medical physics under the supervision of Dr. Ken Hewitt. My research is on a novel optical device for liver fat content assessment in human subjects using Raman spectroscopy. It is an extremely tough time for my research last year. However, working at home brought me convenience to virtually meet almost anybody in the world. I joined the Lab to Market program in 2020. I attended business workshops, met with Lab to Market mentors, and interviewed more than 50 stakeholders. I did all of this at home. At the start point, our team had no experience in commercialization or entrepreneurship. Now, a year later, we have developed a preliminary business plan, built connections with more than 10 liver transplant surgeons, and started collaboration with a certificated medical device developer. Recently, we have been admitted into the Ready to Launch program, and hopefully, we will have our first version minimum viable product by the end of 2021. It is my great honor to accept the LAPAR award. I would like to thank my group. Every achievement I made cannot be separated from the support of my supervisor, Dr. Kevin Hewitt, and my colleagues, Dr. Alexei Tihomirov and Ben Hansen. I also want to thank our department. Everybody in our department always helps me when I need it. Last but not least, congratulations to all the award winners. Hello everyone, my name is Ben Hansen. I am a second year PhD student in medical physics and my supervisor is Dr. Kevin Hewitt. Uh, my research is on a technique we're developing which we call molecular holography. Uh, the idea behind this is combining two separate optical phenomena. One is called Raman scattering and the other is called holography. And by combining the two of these together, we hope to create a technique that allows for 3D real-time molecular imaging at a cellular scale. So it's a very exciting project and I've had a lot of fun working on it for the past year or so. Um, when I found out that I won this award, I was quite excited and very surprised, uh, very happily surprised. Um, and then I was even more surprised to find out that I won it specifically for my community involvement. Um, community involvement is something I love to do. And even though I told myself for graduate school, I would focus primarily on my research. Uh, when something comes up that looks like it can help people, I have a really hard time saying no, and I really love involved, uh, being involved. Um, so I've quite enjoyed uh, being involved at the department, being involved at the university, and also my involvement uh, outside the university doing science outreach with the Citizens Climate Lobby. And it's just been a lot of fun. Uh, and I'm very fortunate to be part of a department that values um, outreach and involvement in its graduate students and not only values it but rewards it so thank you to the department uh, thank you to my supervisor dr kevin hewitt who has inspired me and supported me in all these kind of extracurricular endeavors and of course thank you to the lab mates and just i'm very honored to receive this so thank you very much thank you for joining us in recognizing the impressive 2021 graduating class of physics and atmospheric science I'd like to take some time to recognize some key contributors in this department who are critical to the successes we are all celebrating here today. First off, I'd like to thank Dr. Tim Bardwheel for always finding the time to organize our community with events like these. 
I'd also like to thank Eva Lee for her excellent work putting this video ceremony together. Valerie O'Neill and Jennifer Curie are critical to our seminar series and undergraduate program and are so supportive and responsive of students' inquiries and needs. Thank you. Thank you to Tanya Timmons for always looking out for the grad students. There wasn't a 27th of the month that went by without you checking in to make sure things were in order. Thank you, Heather Ann Jennings, our administrator, for all your help with organizing programs like these throughout the year and representing the visit staffs at the growing EDI initiatives within our department. To our technical staff, Kevin Borgel, John Naughton, Andy George, and Jim Kissel, thank you for your endless support of our students and their research needs. Thank you to Tolson Winters for making sure our CAPA programs run effectively from week to week and answering student inquiries for support. And I'd also like to thank all of the faculty for their passion in mentoring and teaching our students at the graduate and undergraduate levels. Our faculty's commitment to excellence in teaching and supervision is crystal clear. I'd like to thank our department chair, Dr. Ian Hill, our undergraduate program coordinator, Dr. Phil Bennett, our graduate program coordinator, Dr. Ched Ted Moncheski, our co-op program coordinator, Dr. Daniel Labrie, and our atmosphere and science program coordinator, Dr. Rachel Chang. Last but certainly not least, I'd like to thank the support networks we as students relied on this year. Our families, our loved ones, and our close friends. Without you, none of this happens. Thank you for joining us today and congratulations.